my car is filthy. Oh man, she looks so good. I love the ride height, man. Oh my God, these wheels are just gonna make this car. I can't wait. So right now the boxes of wheels and the tires are upstairs. So I'm just gonna put it all in the ring. I'll bring it downstairs. So let's do that really fast. And then I'll update you guys on what exactly I'm doing today. Cause uh, I mean, I'm sure you can tell by the title, but let's do this. Alrighty, so we got her loaded up. Um, literally fit all these with ease, no problem at all. Oh man, mommy's Wrangler is coming in handy today. By the way, the F30 is right over there for those of you guys that miss it. I'm super excited, I can't wait to get these tires onto the car. Super hype, now I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're gonna head out, check it out. With ease, man, with ease. All right, so we're loaded up, I'm ready to go. I'm super hype, let's do this. Oh man. It's been so long since I've like, took, oh, damn, this thing is huge. It's been so long since I've taken a trip to like get tires mounted. I'm so hyped. It's been so long. A lot of you are probably like, yo, since when did you get a Wrangler? We've had this thing for like, since like November, pretty much around the time I got my BRZ, like the November, December time range. And um, man, driving this thing, it's so nice. I can just chill out. Everything on the road looks like so lower than me and like versus in the BRZ when I have to look up at everything, especially after installing the coilovers, the thing is, so low man like it's crazy because that car already is such a low car like to the ground it's already such a low car from factory and then me lowering it that much even more just made it crazy but nonetheless i'm still super hyped right, so i'm here um i'm gonna go inside and talk to them see how long the wait is gonna be and then uh we just wait it out until uh we can get these on so let's do it check that out Ooh, looks perfect perfect amount of meat good stretch look at it Perfect to me. I can't wait to put these on the car, man. Looks sick. Jeez. Bro, I love how these came out. My guy right here is balancing it. It's my boy Marquise. Yes. I met him, Matt Longo, when we did um, putting tires back on the E36 after I was doing Matt burnout. He showed hey, me mad love. You saw the Infinity? Yes. Yo, man. It's crazy. You got see. This is a real car enthusiast here. He has an Infinity, but he still appreciated the Beamer. You know, he still appreciates the BRZ. So that's sick. What do you think of these? The fire, right? You think they look good? They're gonna poke like crazy yeah. though. They're gonna poke like crazy. I have to camber it. Nah. Nah. Well, what's your bolt patterns? 5X114? That's what these are. They're 5X100 and 5X1.114. Yeah, they probably would. Ooh. The concave is crazy. I'm probably not even gonna run these, the center caps. Yeesh. Damn, I love how these came out. The color is fire. You know how my car is white, right? Yeah. So it's like, it's gonna look crazy. Can't wait. Oh man, it's gonna take up such less space now that it has the tires on them versus the box and then the tires separately. Like, shit is crazy. Honestly, these wheels slap. They look so sick. Ooh. Oh my God, I'm so hyped. I can't wait. He's almost done with the last two. They actually, they actually knocked them out really fast. Like I'm actually surprised how quickly they knocked them out. Ooh. There's the weights right there. You can clearly see they balanced it. Looks good, man. I'm really hyped. I can't wait to see how they fit on the BRZ because I feel like they're gonna look. I just, I'm just scared they're gonna poke too much. So that's the only thing I'm hoping that doesn't happen. But aside from that. Hey guys, I'm trying to stretch it. Looks like hard work. <laughs> we'll be on and up out of here. Then we can go back to the house and set the wheels up on the BRZ. Like just lean them on or get an idea of how they'll look and contrast with the paint. And then that's it for today's vlog. I don't want to drop these on their face, so I'm about to I'm about to put you guys down really fast. Cause but damn, look how they look in the light. That looks crazy. Ooh. Okay. Sun. 
I'm so hyped. Like, they look so sick. Oh my god. The stretch is perfect. It's not OD, but it's not, you know, it's like nice and round. You see? That's what I was talking about earlier. If it suits this wheel. I feel like these wheels, they don't look as good if, like, you have, like, a super meaty tire. Then the, the, the design of the wheel just doesn't flow. But look how nicely it just flows together, man. Sick, man. Super sick. All right, guys. We're locked and loaded. Got all the wheels in. Now it's just a matter of driving home. I kind of want to take the roof off. Hmm. Yo, this is so lit. I can't wait to hit the highway like this. Aww. Alrighty, so we are here. There's my baby girl, which you can barely see because of how low it is. Got two wheels out and put them on the side of the BRZ and show you guys how it looks. So uh, yeah, let's do it. I think it contrasts with the paint amazingly. Check it out. <laughs> Camber gate? Nah, not even. Damn, this looks sick, man. The color of the wheel, it matches, it just works with the white so well. Oh my God. It's not like a really like bright bronze. It's like a nice dark bronze. So it kind of has like that gunmetal vibe too. So it like looks like, um, whatchamacallit? Oh, Derek, there comes the sunlight. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, it looks sick, man. Yeesh. And you got some pics for the gram. Well, overall, shit is looking crazy. Obviously, the wheels aren't going to be cambering that much, but I'm going to have to run a decent amount of camber, but we'll see. I don't know. I think it looks fantastic, but I love how the bronze is like a darker bronze. So at night, it'll look really like nice and dark. And in the daytime, it'll look, you know, crazy. But this looks, sheesh. Maybe grab a picture. Oof. All right. All right, so I'm done grabbing some pictures for Instagram and uh, I took some pictures for a thumbnail, but damn, man, these wheels look so nice. I can't wait to see how they look once they get on the car. Oh my God. And then I got to order wheels for the E36 as well. So, man, we got some money to spend right now, but sheesh. Obviously, I'm not going to be campering this much. It's not going to look this bad, but like, obviously, man, these wheels just look fantastic, bro. The color, that color just, it just looks amazing, son. Look at that. They cave in a lot. Like, I know it's not showing on camera, but, like, if you look at them straight, they cave in a lot. So, it just looks so perfect. And I'll get you guys another shot from right here. <laughs> the side profile of this car looks crazy with the duck bill and the low. It just looks amazing, honestly. I wish... I hope the camera does it justice, because in real life, it looks crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, guys. So, I pretty much have to end off the vlog right here. I know you guys might be upset that, like, yo... Why aren't you mounting them right now so we can see how they look on the car for real? Like I said earlier in the video, we got to get camber adjustment done because these BRZs with the stock lower control arms, they have no camber adjustment at all from the factory. So I ordered the, co the control arms already. They should have been here by now, but they're not here yet. So it's not it's no big deal. Got to go to Mike's house, install those. And then that same day when we go to Mike's house to install them, I'm going to install these. And if you're wondering how I'm going to take four wheels to Mike's house, well, I'm going to throw four wheels on the back of the BRZ because apparently that is a thing. You can do that. You should be able to. So hopefully that'll be the game plan. If not, we might have to just do it at best service, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, that pretty much does for this video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the vlog. It means a lot to me. If you did, um, comment down below what you guys think of the wheels. And if you guys have any questions about fitment, please let me know. I'm free to answer them in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, that pretty much does for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Peace out.